when it came out in 2003, I was in Los Angeles, and he also paid for a billboard that he kept up for five years on <laughs> Highland uh, Boulevard, which is a big, big boulevard there. And um, that's all I knew of the room um, for years, and it was this very strange billboard of his face with his lazy <laughs> eyelid, and he was just glaring down at you, and it said, the rune, but was, what was even more peculiar is there was this phone number on it, and it was like, what movie has a phone number, you know? Uh, and so I didn't even think it was a, I didn't even think it was a movie, I, I, I thought it was a cult, or um, <laughs> like you call that number and you can have, you know, a vampire in your, in your own movie or something like that, and um, I remember even describing it to uh, Gary Oldman a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, yeah, there was this billboard, you know, this guy is, you know, kind of scary on it, and you saw, I saw the light bulb go off, he's like, oh, that bloody thing, like, oh, that's your movie? I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I didn't even know about it until four years ago when the book came out, and um, I'm actually so glad I came to this whole thing through the book, because... Uh, I realized that there was this very moving story underneath of these 